this is Dr. Janet Bruno, and today I want to talk about a topic known as diseases of affluence. Now, you may or may not have heard this term before, but there, I want to share that one new group of diseases have been identified today, and these are called, quote unquote, diseases of affluence. Now, this was originally a term used to refer to a group of diseases whose cause could be traced to the affluent lifestyle in rich countries, particularly the United States. And it's an, it's an appropriate name because these diseases are found only in rich countries and very rarely, if at all, in poor countries. Now, let me tell you what some of these diseases of affluence include. Heart disease, prostate cancer, colon cancer, breast cancer, autoimmune diseases, diabetes, and obesity, among others. Now, certainly, many countries today are rapid, rapidly westernizing with the onset of diseases reflecting the spread of this affluence and the spread of this westernization. For example, and this may surprise you, as recently as a few decades ago, medical students in Japan were literally unable to study and evaluate the anatomy of a heart attack victim to see what the heart looks like of a heart attack because there were virtually no heart attacks in all of Japan. They literally had to import diseased hearts for the medical students to study. And now certainly times have changed with McDonald's and Western diet spreading throughout Japan and many d other countries. Uh, yet in the past, the diseases used to be called the diseases of rich persons but re now, because of all of the changes, we grouped it all on together to a more serious and a more accurate term known as diseases of affluence. So in order to address these diseases properly, a new breed of doctors have risen up to the occasion. And the, the most premier doctors who have risen to this include Dr. Dean Ornish, Dr. Caldwell Esselstein, Dr. Hans Deal, and Dr. Colin Campbell, among many other prominent physicians. And these physicians, even if they didn't know it yet at the time, really gave rise to a new breed of medicine. And that breed directly combats the diseases of affluence. And this new breed of medicine is actually called lifestyle medicine. And the focus of this discipline is on lifestyle factors, which are considered causative factors in chronic diseases and other diseases of affluence. Now, unlike conventional medicine, lifestyle medicine looks at the problem from a more holistic standpoint. And in doing so, it also adopts a holistic attitude towards curing or reversing whatever diseases are present. Lifestyle medicine also focuses on the most essential part of medical practice, which many of today's doctors often neglect. And this is the part which deals with disease prevention. Today, the focus is more on treatment of diseases and the tools of choice typically are drugs and procedures, particularly for these diseases of affluence. Well, lifestyle medicine, on the other hand, opts to use diet, exercise, stress management, and sometimes group therapy as a means to cure, reverse, or prevent a wide spectrum of diseases. And the tools of lifestyle medicine are utilized as a whole and not as standalone measures. Now, even as recent as three decades ago, lifestyle medicine was rarely taken seriously. However, because of the advocacies and efforts of the doctors I mentioned previously, case upon case has been presented to the medical community and the public at large, where nearly miraculous cures have been achieved with the use of lifestyle medicine. And that is why today, many major hospitals already have a lifestyle medicine department and is now considered a regular part of medical practice. In fact, because of its demonstrated power against many chronic diseases, lifestyle medicine, along with a similar form of integrative medicine, is becoming the fastest growing and well-regarded specialty in medicine today. I'm very excited about this change and I truly think this is what's going to pave the way for a healthier future for all of America and for everyone globally. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. This is Dr. Janet Bruno wishing you a healthy and a happy day.